Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. So let, first up, let's have a look at the characters from this Obsidian Dragons Tabletop Tactics expansion phase. Uh, all the models have been worked on by Adam, one of the artists here at Siege, uh, who I know had a phenomenal time working on the project. Uh, five characters, as you all well know from the Indometers box, uh, a great selection of awesome poses and loads and loads of details. So let's start with the man himself, the captain. Uh, a really, really awesome miniature, uh, just absolutely covered in details and bits and bobs. Uh, as you'll see here, Adam's done a really nice job on all the scroll work. Um, he's obviously put on there only in death on these sort of long sort of scroll on that shield. Um, you've got this captain's best friend obviously nailed to the front of that shield. Uh, all the little text and bits and bobs on the purity seals there, as you'll see. We've got another little friend on the base, just a fallen Necron uh, that we've just done uh, on the base there for the guys over at TT. You've got uh, all the little details and a lovely little bit of freehand just on that tilt shield, which is the Obsidian Dragons kind of emblem uh, for that captain. But as you'll see, that captain's got a scarred eye as well, just got a lovely little scar with a white eye on the left of his face. Um, and then uh, moving around, you'll see all the little bits of detail on the uh, sort of pauldrons. Uh, that really, really cool sort of pitted kind of chipped kind of scheme as well done across the armor, uh, but a really stoic, uh, awesome pose of this miniature from the Indomitus set. So that's just the captain. Uh, next, let's have a look. Probably my favorite model from the box, which is the uh, veteran, um, sorry, the lieutenant. Uh, really, really, really cool miniature. Love the pose, obviously with some Volkite, which we've done in orange here. Uh, we drilled that barrel out and put that orange glow right down the barrel of the gun as well. You've got loads of little lights and things all done on the uh, guns, sort of like markers and readers and things that are done on there. A little bit of uh, personal heraldry on that tilt shield. You've got the lieutenant uh, coloration on the, on his helmet as well, as you'll see there. Uh, we went with red robes across these guys as well, because obviously they're more kind of like elite HQ kind of figures, and we want them to look really royal, so we went with red robes for these guys, uh, as, as you'll see. Uh, lovely sort of uh, sheen on that leather work done across the miniatures as well. But again, a really, really awesome, awesome model. Uh, you've got Dragon written on that shield as well, there as well for the guys, uh, just obviously for the Obsidian Dragons. And they've all got their uh, Obsidian Dragon transfers across the force, as you'll see. Uh, so that's just the uh, Primaris Lieutenant. Uh, let's have a look at the Judiciary as well. A really, really cool, a very ominous model, as you'll see. Uh, but again, that in that Obsidian uh, sort of scheme with that massive, massive flat-ended sword there, as you'll see. I've <laughs> uh, got a lovely sheen on all this leather work here as well, which is really cool. Uh, you've got the obsidian dragon transfers. Uh, you've got the hourglass there. We left in like an obsidian black as well, so it looks very ominous, which I think looks really cool. You've got all the bone work done on him as well. Lots and lots of skulls on this chap. Uh, so that's the Judicam. Uh, and then we'll look at the chaplain. Probably, again, it's really difficult for me between this guy and also the uh, Primaris Lieutenant, but um, absolutely love this chaplain model. I think it's uh, it's really, really awesome, the sculpt. The pose is incredible. And uh, again, really, really awesome sort of face sculpt with that Terminator-esque kind of looking back at the old sort of metal chaplain biker a nice nod back to the head sculpt that used to be on that model um again really really cool commanding pose you've got all of the purity seals and everything all done with text and writing as you'll see but again really really sharp attention to detail on all the little details across the model and that really cool kind of broken edge kind of like chipped kind of highlighting done on the armor as well so that's just the chaplain uh, and then finally we have the blade guard ancient uh, again another really awesome miniature uh, massive massive banner with another friend to uh, take into battle uh, but you've got every little bit of detail painted on him all of the purity seals all the little extra bits of detail covered across the miniature uh, you've got the uh, red robes on this chap as well which i really think gives him like a royal kind of regal kind of look to him as well which i think is really lovely uh, very old kind of bronze kind of gold kind of uh, colorway that we've gone for is here as well which i think is quite nice uh, and obviously you've got these veteran status denoted by the white helmet as there as you'll see and some personal heraldry on the tilt shield as well which i think is really really cool uh, so that's just the uh, blade guard ancient from this force
So next we got the awesome, awesome close combat capability of this force, the Blade Guard veterans and also the Assault Intercessors. Two sets of miniatures which I was extremely excited for uh, when uh, Indomitus was announced and released. Uh, so to have them here in office and studio in the uh, Obsidian Dragon scheme is a real pleasure. Um, let's start with the Blade Guard veterans. Let's look at the Sergeant first of all. An exceptional model uh, with really, really awesome sets of details. Adam's done a great job of adding all the little bits and bobs of intricacies across the armor all those little details We've got these enormous storm shields here as you'll see uh, with all the gold work done in that very baroque kind of fashion uh, all the purity seals and everything fully painted on this chap as well nice red uh, helmet there to denote him as obviously a sergeant with that white stripe and then moving around you've got obviously all the little bits of the power weapon there with some nicks and things on the power blade um, you've got that, all those edges done in that broken kind of um, sort of chipped kind of armor uh, highlighting scheme that we do on the obsidian dragons Again, all the beauty seals all fully painted uh, with text and everything. You've got the Obsidian Dragon transfers uh, in a very, very sort of guarded, ready-to-attack pose. And you've got that personal uh, heraldry there on him as well on that tilt shield. Uh, and we finished off with a really cool, uh, ornate, sort of golden kind of uh, cross uh, sort of transfer for this chap, just to denote him, obviously, as a, as a Blade Guard veteran, which we think would work really well. So that's just uh, that's just a sergeant. And then we'll pull forward the two uh, out of his buddies. We've got this awesome dude here with some personal heraldry on his tilt shield uh, again same consistency from miniature to miniature again a really really awesome scheme the subsidian dragon scheme uh, and again really sharp highlighting done on all the armor uh, all the little bits of details fully painted and fully highlighted but again a really awesome awesome model uh, so that's just the second uh, blade god vet and then the last one of the three we've got this other chap here again with some personal heraldry on his tilt shield uh, again it's all the little nicks and things on the power blade there as you'll see just uh, he's been uh, dicing it out quite recently and uh, again <laughs> you've got the uh, massive massive storm shields and again adds to that stellar job just sort of doing this really sort of ornate baroque kind of highlighting on the gold just to really make it look a little bit ancient um, again do love these miniatures ever so much and then we move on to something very close to my heart which is the assault intercessors absolutely over the moon that we got these uh, so yeah this awesome awesome set of 10 miniatures in these really cool poses again you've got this uh, really cool dynamic charging kind of shooting pose uh, as you'll see all the areas of detail were fully painted all the purity seals and every little bit and bob all done you got these really really cool sort of uh, sort of uh, wrist gorget kind of like armoured areas which is quite cool uh, and then we've got obviously the really super clean clean sort of highlighting that's done on all of these and you'll see the lens is done in a really lovely complementary green as well just to really make those stand out compared to the red and the black of the armour uh, but again uh, you wouldn't want one of these guys charging you down uh, we'll run through the unit again there are some double ups in poses but um, again a really really awesome awesome set of uh, dynamically posed miniatures uh, do like the little screen and things have all been done as well just so that you can uh, have that attention to detail on those uh, parts of the armor uh, just pull forward a few more I'll try not to do the double poses just so you can see but again a really really cool bounding charging forward pose uh, very befitting of a close combat shock troop and then we'll pull forward the sergeant who I really do love has done a really good job of giving him some personal heraldry picking out all the eyes teeth and everything on the face uh, really lovely attention to detail on the on the skin as well and across all the sort of bare heads on this force again you've got that that plasma pistol and bionic arm here on him uh, and he has got his helmet as well just uh, no sergeant will be uh, will be uh, seen in battle without one but uh, he's got his just there mag lock to his uh, his sort of thigh plate uh, or waist plate there as you'll see and again really really awesome awesome pose very commanding as you'd expect from a sergeant uh, and we'll pull forward a few more of these just so you guys can see the consistency from miniature to miniature across the uh, assault intercessors but a really really lovely lovely set models uh, so that's just another one of the assault intercessors and we'll pull one more uh, just in my favorite of all the poses this absolute charging look at the side profile on that really really cool uh, so that's just an awesome awesome set of easy to build 10 models which uh, are great and dynamic again love that sort of camera that sort of angle there where he's just looking down his chainsaw but really really cool uh, and they've all got the uh, the assault kind of uh, tr uh, transfer as well plus the obsidian dragon transfer as you'd expect so that's just the assault intercessors do hope that you like them
So we've got the Outriders and also the Eradicators, two of the hard hitting units from this awesome Indomitus additions force for the guys over at TT. Uh, let's start with the Outriders. Again, I do really love these models. Uh, I think when I first saw them, they really, really reminded me of the, the bikes from Judge Dredd a little bit. Uh, I'm super glad that we've still got some, some wheeled kind of attack power in the Marine Army moving forward, which I think is really good. Um, these awesome Outriders, as you see here, Adam's done a really lovely job of picking out that bulky form and then breaking it up with that kind of chipped edge kind of uh, highlighting process that we go through for the Obsidian Dragons. Uh, but all the metal work done through various stages of highlighting, you've got loads of attention to detail on all the purity seals, uh, all the little screens and everything are all fully painted, all the buttons, dials and digits and all those bits and bobs are all painted in a really clean fashion as well. Obviously, you've got the Obsidian Dragon transfers. We put the Assault, uh, assault transfers on these guys as well because they're fast, hard-hitting units. Uh, which I think suits them quite well. Red bolters, casings, just to denote the weaponry on the on the uh, bikes as well, which I do like. The complementary green lenses on the pilots or the rider, which is uh, really cool. Um, and again, you've got the lovely integration of that sort of brownish kind of basing kind of scheme into the bike as well. Around the wheel and all the lower portions of the bike have got that brown kind of glazed in there as well, which I think is really cool. Uh, so that's just the first of the Outriders. We'll pull forward the Sergeant next. Again, not caring where he's going, not caring the world uh, or who he runs over, but you've got uh, Adam's done a great job of picking out all the facial details glazing on sort of like a shaved head kind of a hairline as well which i do like you've got that magged helmet there with the red complement uh, the green complementary lenses to the red uh, armor of the helmet as well um again we bought out all the uh, exhausts on these bikes as well because they, we just think it obviously makes them look even more realistic um all the little dials as i mentioned are all done but again, a really cool commanding pose for this Outrider squad leader, uh, which I do really, really like him. Uh, great, just finishing someone off after he's probably run him over, undoubtedly. Uh, so that's just the sergeant. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the uh, last of the three. Again, a really, really awesome model. Uh, another commanding pose, just go that way. Uh, again, you've got all the little bits of detail, all the scratches and things done on the armor just to break up. It's kind of a great combination of highlighting and also uh, sort of weathering at the same time by doing it in this fashion, which I think is great. Uh, again, really, really cool model. I uh, love the subtle brown tinge on the tyres and the lower portions where we glaze that brown from the base onto the miniature uh, just to integrate the, uh, the the basing scheme onto the model which is really cool. All the little sort of wrist dials and things are all sort of highlighted and lighted up as well. Uh, on to next the uh, melter death that we've got of the eradicators bearing those melter gun weaponry. Uh, again a really really cool set of models. Uh, they've got this awesome awesome sort of bulky heavy aggressor armour uh, wielding that sort of massively heavy gun there as you'll see. <laughs> Uh, the little lights and things both on the weaponry and the wrists are all painted uh, all the purity seals with their text all done as well we've got the um, sort of heavy specialist uh, sort of transfers have been applied to these guys uh, the leather work consistent with the rest of the force with a subtle kind of shading and highlighting done on those as well uh, and you've got the obsidian dragon transfers just to finish them off again that really really cool chipping kind of weathering kind of style that we've done on the, uh, the highlighting you can see that subtle brown tinge there on the uh, in between the recesses of the, sh of the shoes or feet should I say um, but again really Really, really cool, cool set of models. We'll put forward the sergeant for you to have a look at him. Again, really commanding pose, about to take a shot. He's got a green bionic eye there, as you'll see. Uh, and again, all the little details, all fully highlighted through various stages on the metal work, the reds, the blacks, and everything. Uh, but again, a really, really cool miniature to lead the set of three melter-wielding death uh, maniacs. Uh, again, the last one of the three, again, a really, really super clean finish, and hopefully showing you the consistency from model to model across this uh, this commission and this phase uh, for the guys over at Tabletop. Uh, now, I do hope you like them, guys. Uh, please go check out the guys at Tabletop Tactics. The link will be in the description to their on-demand service and also their free view YouTube channel. So do make sure you go and check those out. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. 
While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Seeds channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.